Hey y'all and welcome and welcome back to my channel. I totally forgot to film an intro for this video, but that's okay because you already know what's going on. We added in some new color. I also just wanted to show y'all what I did to my head. So as y'all can see, I split the side, this lock right here in half. Um, yeah, it was too big, too thick, taking up too much space and I split that bad boy in half. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. Let's get right into today's video and I hope y'all enjoy. I'm gonna do from like here oh, down, put this one down, yeah. So the problem now is because your hair is not part evenly, yeah, it's kind of like zigzagging, weird. I feel like nobody's really gonna see that, you know? Like once my hair is down or if it's up, they won't really see the imperfection. I think that's the best that we can. It feels good. Get it. So look at it. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna put these back up there like all over the place. Yeah, I know. I like how it is. See? Yeah, I like how it is. To all my sons worldwide, all my juniors, I apologize for my absence. I know I left you without a name to drop. I don't know how I expected you to get your cloud up and get your money up, but don't worry. Daddy's home. Turn me up. Yeah. Niggas know they need to stop. Now I'm standing at the top. That's how I know you never seen the top. Sierra King parking lot, looking like that in city parking lot. Get the talks when I walk by, like you know it's open when you drop. Hey, drop. Yeah, and I'm coming with the wop. Y'all niggas not popping. Fuck it, and she going shopping. Whoa. Okay, y'all. She's about to explain the full process. Okay, I'm gonna do this by ourselves. Okay. So, at first we started 
by lightening this area at her roots because she wanted it all the way down and she had dark roots all the way down to here. Mm -hmm. So I went in with the Clairol dark hair. You still do? I went in with that and I mix like two scoop of that with, um, I use the Blonde Me 30 volumes. Finished, I noticed that the end still had some darkness to it. So I went back in and lightened this area a little bit more. After I did that, ideally I would have just, once I put on the color on the top, I would have just put the other color on the bottom as well, but we couldn't decide what color she wanted. Um, we bought another color, but we decided not to use it because it was too much red and she wanted more orange. So we mm -hmm. didn't use that. So I initially just um, use the brown. I use the ion permanent color in a 2N and I use four of them. Um, it barely made it. I had to mix another batch of something else that I had, <clears throat> which was initially a little bit darker, but, um, I kind of sort of spread it out and, um, to kind of sort of even it out. So we did that on the top and then we had to run out and get the, um, Cajun, Cajun spice. spice. Um, ideally I think we would have needed four bottles, but I kind of sort of worked it out and made it stretch. We had three bottles, so we put that on there and it um, grabbed pretty good because the hair was so light and you know, when you bleach it out, it's kind of porous, so it sucked it right up. Um, it didn't really bleed that much either because the hair kind of sucked up all the color. So we did all of that and it came out the color that she wanted. So um, we were happy about that and we trim it. Um, one thing about when you're trimming dreads, um, what I really should have done was trimmed it before I actually bleached it because what happens when you bleach it, it kind of sort of softens up the, the tip of the dreads. And so it gives you that nice curl at the tip of the dreads. So um, over time, um, she'll get that back as it grow out and as it wears out. One thing that helps that along is when you're trimming the dreads, don't just trim it straight across. Trim it at an angle so that the, the ends can fray out over time. That's that. She's all done. From blonde to Cajun spice. I'm crazy looking blonde. <laughs> Patchy blonde. <laughs>